All right. Thank you, Nate. It is 826. Up next, forced into early retirement. Well, we'll tell you how to adjust your plan post-pandemic. Maybe you didn't intend to retire yet, and the pandemic had other plans for you, though, or you're currently weighing your options in this unpredictable job market. Joining me with tips on adjusting your retirement plan, because we know a lot of you are going through that, is financial advisor Harry Abramson. I'm glad you're here because we need to know what to do if you're forced into retirement right now. Do you have some suggestions for that? Yes, thank you for having me on the show, Melissa. Um, obviously, if you get forced into retirement, you'd probably want to try to go and seek new employment. I had a client that lost their job for a large company. They work with headhunters and did a lot of networking. Fortunately, she landed and, and got a great job. Ah, oh, that's huge because people, a lot of people are trying to seek new employment and figure out what they want to do. So what do you suggest you do once you secure that new job? Well, one of the things you want to really be careful with is that if you do get that new job, um, you don't want to take your previous 401k and roll it in um, because it, what you're going to do is limit your investment choices. So you're probably better off just rolling it into an IRA. Um, also, when you roll it into the IRA, you can do a lot of different things with it. If you don't have a job and you have a sizable 401k, you can do things like 72 T's, which is distributions off with no penalties. And that money might be able to kind of be used to hold you over, maybe pay some bills or pay a mortgage and while you're actually looking for that job. And because a lot of people have had a really good job and they may have really gotten their 401k to a, a beautiful point, but are now out of work, what do you suggest for anyone in that situation? Well, they, they could utilize, like roll that into the IRA and then they can implement that 72T, which is a periodic and equal installments based on life expectancy. And that, that just gives them money uh, that they can use while they're looking for that job. So it just gives them a little bit more flexibility. And any suggestions for someone looking for a new job in the market right now? Well, you know, they want to take advantage of obviously any social media. They can, you know, look at different companies, different sites to, to seek employment, be a little bit creative in how you look at things and what you want to do. Maybe diversify what you've done in the past and maybe look at something a little bit different or try something a little bit new because, you know, there's a lot of different opportunities out there right now and people can, should try to seek out these, these new, new chances, new opportunities. As people work on their retirement plans, are you finding that perhaps things have changed of their goals in life? Because it seems like life has just been so drastically different for almost everybody the past year. Yeah, I think, you know, I, I think people are thinking about retirement a little bit differently. I think they're trying to figure out where taxes are headed, what is that going to look like? Um, what's their quality of lifestyle that they're going to have? And they're trying to make decisions today that's going to impact their future. So they just need to be a little bit mindful of what they are doing and what's going to be the tax consequences when they ultimately do get into retirement. And do you think it's just incredibly important for someone to sit down with a planner and help them figure it out? It just so that they have a look on paper in black and white right there of what they need to do to get to that retirement number so that they can be comfortable the rest of their life. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's a great time, if, especially if you don't have a job to sit down and take control over your finances. Um, you know, sit down with professionals, talk to people, talk about different ideas and strategies. Um, you, know, you know, if you talk to a couple of different people, you'll get a bunch of different opinions and then educate yourself so that you feel a little bit more in control over your future. It can be a little overwhelming and sometimes someone can help you calm it down and see it for what it is. Thank you for your time this morning, Harry. Thank you very much for having me on, Melissa. 836 right now. Up next, Texas.